Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Bernard. My first guests are stitching together fashion and culture with an exciting upcoming event. Here to help explain what this means are Whitney Kirk from the United Way and PJ Amini from Monsanto. So who would think um, Monsanto and United Way are together in the fashion business? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's such a great idea. Yeah, and so I guess this idea started about four years ago when Monsanto thought of the idea of putting together a fashion show as a unique way to kind of raise money for a, a great organization. And United Way jumped in right away and was more than willing to work with us and provide us with all the help we need to kind of get this, this ball rolling. And now four years later, we're still having great success with this show. Yeah, and you were telling me off camera, six or 700 people typically attend this fashion show. So it's, it's a relatively large event, and we have people from all over St. Louis coming. A lot of them are business professionals, but we have people of all ages coming to enjoy the show and watching all these cultures come together to show what they have in their fashion and in their culture and bringing everyone together at the same time. Yeah, I guess it's interesting, too, because Monsanto is such a multicultural, multinational company that it kind of makes sense, but Monsanto in fashion and, and then United Way, I mean, you guys are just doing all kinds of different things in our community. Absolutely, we're so grateful for this partnership with Monsanto, and they have been wonderful. They sponsored our kickoff for the Multicultural Leadership Society last week, and now they're doing this fashion show that they've been doing for four years, so we're so excited for their support uh, and to just be part of it. So the Multicultural Leadership, mm -hmm. group, what, is that part of the United Way? It is, we have a few leadership societies, and the Multicultural Leadership Society is just one of them and that's one of the things that we do to raise money uh, anybody who gives a gift of a thousand dollars or more annually uh, and to build a community here within St. Louis. Okay and so you all teamed up with Monsanto four years ago with this fashion show so PJ I know you're not doing fashion in your every day at yeah. work <laughs> So what do you do normally? So normally I'm working with a, an internal software support group within Monsanto. So computers are very different from fashion. Yeah. Unless you're spending your time looking up fashion on the, the computer, you're not really into it day to day. Uh, I guess in my university days, I got involved with some fashion shows there and helped them out with some modeling and some walking there. And when I heard that Monsanto was involved with it, I thought it was the perfect place to get involved. That's was, great. So you're volunteering your time, I guess, if you will, um, at work. It's kind of a nice diversion yes and a lot of fun and so how are the employees involved at Monsanto so they're involved in every step of the process so down from organizing the show to the actual models walking the runway so you notice that a majority of our models are actually going to be employees that have volunteered their time have decided to go out and put themselves out there in front of this large group of people and kind of just walk the runway strut their stuff and be proud of their company and raising money for a great cause so is it easy to get models uh, it is easy to get models. So people, uh, I think this is a unique opportunity. Not everyone gets asked every day, hey, would you like to become right. a model? And who wouldn't like to be asked that every yeah, once in a while? Yeah, it's flattering. That's yeah. fun, but I, I would think some people will get a little bit of stage fright. <laughs> there, there is a little bit, and the most important thing for our models is we want them to smile and walk the runway, so we make it as easy as possible. We have, uh, so I, I've been helping out with the model coaching for, for the last year or two, and uh, we actually have a female that's gonna come and help the females walk. Previous years, I helped the females walk and that didn't go <laughs> a, a, as well before just because I've never walked in heels before and for me to teach that, it's a little bit, right. uh, little bit out there, but we have a great staff that helps us out and, and makes the show a Gosh, great success. All these things to think about. And Whitney, how does the United Way get involved other than obviously spreading the word and that kind mm -hmm. of thing. Do you guys help at the actual event? Oh yeah, we'll definitely be there helping with registration and having a strong presence at the event, cheering on the models. We'll be announcing that night Inspire's Next Top Model and so we'll be probably picking out our favorites and rooting for them as well. Oh wow, that's a lot of fun. Well, we're gonna take a break, but when we come back, I wanna talk more about how we bring all these cultures together. So we'll have more on the Inspire Fashion Show after this break. Stay with us here on SDL TV Live.